I'm gonna show you how I made an all-in-one Arduino die with settings for the range of the die and the amount of dies to calculate. Let's get started. First make this circuit to test if it works. As always, a full parts list and a link to my code will be in the description. Now download the Adafruit GFX and SSD 1306 libraries. Upload the code to the Arduino and test it. If it doesn't work, you might have to go into the SSD 1306 library and change these two lines. Then it should work properly. As you can see, everything is working, so let's start modeling the case. As always, a link to all the models in this video will be in the description. Here it is, the main part was printed upside down, so the top is pretty rough, but apart from that they fit together perfectly and all the components fit in just as well. So to clean off the top a bit, I'm going to use my precision knife to remove most of the problems and then use some sandpaper to finish everything off. Solder the circuit from before together. With just one change, replace the second button with a tilt switch, but make sure it's rotated upside down, otherwise it'll just keep on changing the screen. Finally, it's time to start putting everything together. I'm gonna start with the screen, since it's at the bottom of the case. Now the button. And the switch, which is part of the battery circuit and should be connected as shown. Then the power jack. Mm -hmm. 
And now for the batteries, there are two important things to note. One, if you can, use one battery instead of connecting two in series. Two, if you do use two 3-fold batteries, use the same batteries. And yes, I am aware that I'm ignoring my own advice, but I had to get this video out in time and I didn't have any other batteries, so I had to use these. Now that they're connected together, we can connect them to a power jack and Arduino and glue the lid to the case. As you can see, it works really well. You just shake it to roll the die, and if you want to change anything, you can go into the settings by holding the button at the back. And from there, you can change the die range and even make it calculate multiple dice at once. I hope you liked the video, if you did, don't forget to like and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it.